What is up? What is up? What is up? This is Alert Wolf here, and I am here to bring you another anime review. This time, it is Dragon Ball Super Episode 2. And this one is called To the Promised Vacation. Vegeta goes on a family trip. And you have to say it like that family trip, because that's how it's written. Um, okay. So, Dragon Ball Super is starting to, uh, go. In this episode, we get, uh, we get a couple of things. The, the A, we get an A, B, and C story. The A story is, uh, obviously Vegeta had promised his son back during the training to defeat Majin Buu. Uh, that if he could land a hit on him during the training, he would take his kid to the amusement park. And it's time for a family outing for poor Vegeta. Meanwhile, Goku, he goes to, uh, to King Kai's planet and starts training and wrecking poor King Kai's life again, you know. Uh, comedic moments there to follow. Um, we also get uh, Beerus is, is on the move. Beerus is on the move in this episode, doing the Beerus thing. Now, uh, uh, let's just start off with the Vegeta story, the big chunk. Basically, uh, through, you know, he, he's, he's, he's having fun with his family, and you know, he's the type of dude that's like, yeah, chick, even though he loves his chick and his family. He's a little shy, uh, drinking some beer. Uh, a little uh, blood orange uh, ale, just uh, just to let you know. But uh, anyway, so you know he's he's doing his thing, uh, you know, with his family. He hates it because he's thinking Goku's already the strongest being right now. Like he's it, and Goku's off training, and he knows because he doesn't sense Goku on Earth anymore. And if Goku's not on Earth, Goku's training. Right? So he's he's like, nah, I'm here with my family. I should be training. I am Prince Vegeta. No, I don't know why I did that for you. That's not right. But, uh, you know, he, that's the idea. So this dude is like, I gotta ditch the fam. But he's still a good dad, a good husband, uh, even though he's a grouchy guy. And he stays the whole time until uh, the, there's like a big crowd and like a, like a, like a concert or the MC's trying to puff up the crowd but he's seeing Vegeta's being kind of a dick and just standing there and so he's like ah he, he tries to get him on stage to, to like kind of embarrass him a little but like you know get him in the mood and that only makes Vegeta angrier he blows people away with a little bit of his uh, his chi and, and then he flies away he's like I'm out of here I'm gonna go train his son the trunk's wishing it you know, tells him uh, he, he had a great time and stuff like that. And that is, in essence, the Vegeta story! Now, the Goku story uh, is exactly what I said. Kind of bothering King Kai and training. The C story is very little. The interesting thing is the B story. Now, we have confirmation that Beerus is trying to remember a dream, a premonition he had of, uh, and at the very end of the episode, of a Super Saiyan God. And you start to see fragments and, and of what in, uh, of what appears to be a figure, probably Goku, uh, and he keeps remembering it, and he's sleeping, he's trying to remember it. So, there we go. Now, some people have speculated that the movie was the dream, and he's awake now. Other people are speculating that uh, they're just retelling that story in Dragon Ball Snow Gluck. Slowness style, and the Dragon style of storytelling. I'm not sure. I'm going to play a wait and see attitude until I figure out exactly what they're trying to do. And I know there may be interviews out there and other things floating. And again, I didn't read the manga on this one. But, uh... I'm going to play it by ear and see how it goes. And what's interesting is the development of, the, of Beerus' character is much darker than the movies. You, you get to really see his destructive side. Uh, he goes in search, uh, they go in search for more food. We get led to this dinky planet 
dinky planet full of like dinosaurs, dinosaur dragon thing, which is kind of cool. Uh, looked a little light blue. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and then these like four-armed, like green dinky cavemen trying to stop it and losing. And then the, the strongest person on their planet comes, beats it. And then they're going off with it when Weeze is trying to take it from Barris and Barris shows up and Weeze, Weeze tries to explain to him things are going to go wrong and uh, he powers up and transforms and he looks awesome. And he has like lightning powers coming out of his horn, he, he's fighting Barris, he has dragon breath. I dig him. I, I thought he was great. Obviously he got his ass kicked and got beaten in like one move, a reversal. Then Beerus destroys the planet. Then uh, the Supreme, the Elder Supreme Kai pulls up. There's a great disturbance in the Force. Like a million souls cried out and, and then were silenced. Right? So he pulls one of those. And uh, uh, the Supreme Kai is like, ah, I don't, know, I don't sense a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, Lord Beerus is awake, the god of destruction. So, okay, we get a confirmation that this is going down. But again, what's interesting to me in this episode is Beerus. Beerus' character is being built a little darker than he was in the movies. Now again, I haven't seen Revival of F. Uh, so again, you know, don't, no spoilers on that one. I mean, actually everybody pretty much knows the story on that one, but I haven't seen it, so we're gonna act like I don't know about it. But at least as, as far as Battle of the Gods go, um, He's a much darker character than Battle of the Gods. So it's interesting to see where this goes. Oh, one more thing. At the end of the episode, also, Vegeta was training and trying to get stronger. Yeah, that, that I forgot to mention. But basically, that's the gist of the, the story breakdown. But again, the interesting points to me are our heroes are training. Goku and Vegeta. Um, Beerus is now searching for a Super Saiyan God, or whatever that means. And the Kai's, or the, the Elder Supreme Kai is aware of what's happening and may be on the move. So the story seemingly is gonna pick up. Now where would I put this episode? Uh, I think this episode was more interesting than last week. It wasn't as funny. Um, I would rate it almost about the same, uh, which is about two and a half. Uh, not two out of five, but two and a half out of five. I would even give it two and three quarters. So, 2.75 out of five. Slightly better than 50%. Sort of like 60%. So, it, it goes from uh, 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 okay to our... It goes from, yeah, it goes from okay to, to fun. And now I'm bringing it up to interesting. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a general little ramp up from last week. It's a little better in my opinion. And that snowball is rolling down the hill. And I can't wait to see what happens when we get to the bottom and things really pick up. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it on this one. Uh, not much to tell. Uh, next week's episode, let's see what's the description. Uh, where does the dream go? Look for Super Saiyan God. So I think this is going to be a Beerus-heavy episode, which would be great because, again, it's interesting to me to see where they're developing his character. Because, again, in the, in the movie, he was one of these guys you shouldn't mess with because it's the power of destruction, and he was going to destroy the Earth, and he would have, and he's not joking about that. But at the same time, he was, he was comical, lighthearted, he liked Goku, uh, and, 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 you know, in the next film... Uh, Goku and Vegeta training with Whis. So, to me, you know, and, and you get told about the multiple universes. Maybe they just explain it that the movie universe is one movie, uh, one universe. I don't know how they're going to do that, but uh, you know, it's 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 interesting. It's interesting to me to see how they be build Beerus, uh, and we still haven't even gotten to the fat Beerus and the girl Whis yet. So, uh, who knows? But uh, I, I like where this is going. Um, so that's enough out of me. So, and again, look forward to uh, other videos. Please check out Anime Acts, Anime Redux, excuse me, uh, uh, episode two. 
check out, uh, which, which should be up before this, um, check, and check out my uh, next two reviews for my two new shows that I am reviewing. Uh, my other action uh, comedy type of show is a classic Yushio and uh, Tura, and uh, uh, which is which is the they have a new modern version of it. Uh, and the other one I'm doing is again uh, is pretty good for my comedy. Um, is going to be everyday life with monster girls. So check those videos out. So again, click it up if you like it, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can. And this is your buddy Alert Wolf. Uh, signing out.